Even all remarks here, back here with another video, back again with another Oculus Quest video. And it's an exciting time, we've had the Oculus Quest, but now we have V-Ridge working on the Oculus Quest. Which means, just like AR VR worked on the Oculus Go, where you play PC VR games, you can now play them on your Oculus Quest, and it works pretty well. You may be saying, why are you playing Beat Saber, as that's on uh, the Oculus Quest anyway, but I don't own it on the Oculus Quest, I own it on Steam VR. And now I get to play all the tracks, all the levels, all the custom tracks, everything I want to do on this. Now you do need a PC, you do need a decent NVIDIA or AMD graphics card and it should work. I'm streaming this at maximum resolution, maximum quality and it looks pretty good. I can't complain. I think it is awesome. The latency is not too bad. It seems to be working okay. I can move, them around, move myself around as I kind of expect. I still got the usual guardian barrier. I do get the occasional spot of sort of blurry vision where you know, it loses a bit of sort of uh, streaming connection, but it works. And the same thing goes for like VR chat and stuff like that. So VR chat on the Oculus Quest uh, doesn't have customizable avatars, but via V-Ridge you can do that. You can have customizable avatars. So it's super simple to set up, well, if you know how, but the process for sideloading apps and stuff is the same as it was on the Oculus Go. So if you follow any of those tutorials for the Oculus Go, just sub that for your Oculus Quest, uh, and you're golden. You have to manually sideload this app the V-Ridge app on your Quest. So you do need to kind of do a little bit of jiggery pokery to make it work. Um, but once it's set up, it's then super easy. You just boot up the app from the unknown sources section of your library and you can play PC VR games. And this is pretty awesome. It's working really well. I've had a couple of moments where it's gone a bit sort of blurry, but for the most part, that works awesome. Look, we can cut the floor. Look, 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 look. Can't do that in the Oculus Quest. <laughs> uh, let's jump into VR chat, shall we? So here we are in VR chat. I would say your kind of hands, oh look, the load in, are a bit skew if you kind of have to hold them a bit like that. Uh, but look, I am Iron Man. You can't do this on the Oculus Quest, so I can go bzzz, fire lasers. Bzzz. I could go, I could play some rock and roll music. Yeah. I could do the peace sign. I could do anything else. Oh, I think uh, shooting lasers is probably enough. You can click on the the, D, um, the the analog stick on the left stick to move around. So move over here, jump into the hub. Uh, so it's a little bit different. You're probably best kind of playing with the controls. What I would say is the chat doesn't work. So your microphone on your Oculus Quest doesn't pass through to the game. I don't know. I couldn't find an option for it, um, but I imagine they'll have that at some point. Uh, I did sort of check to see if it was kind of enabled, and it's not. But now you get all the custom avatars. There's no avatars where it's just, you know, a generic robot. Look, there you go, look, I can see myself, look. Although I am walking around a bit like a chicken, but I think that's partly some weird sort of tracking going on. If you want to sort of do voice chat, you're gonna to have to use a, a separate microphone or something like that, so, which isn't much of an issue, but look, we can turn around to go where we want to go. Look, there's the Oculus Quest rooms. We can go in these rooms. Woohoo! Which one should we go in? Christmas house? Let's go. So now you can kind of go in, grab any avatar you want. Got a couple of Vive controllers. Woohoo! But yeah, so there you go, it works. You're a bit sort of skew with, and I'm sure they'll make things better. There's probably some menu options that we can tweak to maybe get our arms to kind of function a bit more uh, normally. Um, yeah, but I'm sure we'll get some more sort of options at some point to kind of help with our sort of uh, motion in our arms. I'm sure there's probably things we can tweak and change. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. So, so far, awesome. So there we go. There's V-Ridge quickly on your Oculus Quest. So now you can play all PC VR games on your Oculus Quest. And because we've got the two controllers, with the Oculus Go, it was always a bit awkward because you only had one controller. It was three degrees of freedom. You couldn't do the kind of all the VR stuff but that setup uses the headset you can move around you can move your sort of controllers around you can duck you can do all that good stuff that good quality PC VR games give you and the Oculus Quest does it 
But for example, the Beat Saber, you know, I'm now able to play it with full graphical settings so I can slash the floor and the, the barriers have like a lightning effect on them, which they don't on the Oculus Quest. I've also got all the tracks and everything unlocked on there already, so bargain. It means I don't have to buy it on the Oculus Quest unless I want to kind of go mobile with it now. Awesome. And VR chat, apart from the voice chat not working, uh, we've now got um, sort of full sort of access to all those avatars that people have got. So you can go in, you can find rooms, and they've got tons of avatars that you can choose from. So you can be anything you want. You want to be a fairy? You be a fairy. You be you. So V-Ridge costs $14.99 in euros. Whenever you buy it, you'll get it translated into your currency via PayPal. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Have you tried it? Do you like it? Uh, can you get it to work? As I say, all you need to do is put your Oculus Quest into developer mode. So if you go into your app on your phone, you can toggle on developer mode. And that will take you through to a page where you create a company uh, you fake created a company, and you can call it whatever you want, and then you're sorted. Then you just need to sideload an app, and I'll leave a link down below to a quick installer that installs ADB on your PC. And it only takes about 15 seconds to do, it's the easiest way of doing it. Then what I would do is I would install ADB Link, which is a program that kind of gives a front end to a, a ADB. It makes it easier, because otherwise you have to go into the code, you have to kind of type it in commands and stuff. It's a ball lake, like, it's a pain. ADB link gives you kind of the uh, front end so you can just literally click install APK and it does it and an APK is the game file that you need to install on your Oculus Quest so you get that I'll leave a link to that as well you download that from uh, the V-Ridge website you sideload that onto your Oculus Quest and I'll, as I say I'll leave a kind of like a step-by-step -step guide down below just kind of go through it step by step you should be absolutely fine and then once you load up on your Oculus Quest, you load up V-Ridge on your PC, you get a free 10 minutes, I think, before you want to buy it. Um, but I say it's definitely worth buying it as well. Work, works really, really well. Jump into the settings, make sure you crank all those settings up. It works best on a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection if you got it. So try and do that if you can. Ideally have your PC wired into your router for that extra bit of sort of network security. But overall, works really well i'm really pleased about it let me know in the comments down below if there's any sort of games you want me to test on it uh, to see if they work i do have things like uh, skyrim and um serious sam and and all sorts of other stuff already installed on my account so i'm going to jump in and play those over the next few days and let you guys know how well they play but yeah interesting stuff if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if not give it a thumbs down that's fine i'm big enough and ugly enough to take it but do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it i'll try and do better for next time become one of the remarkables hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when i next upload a video and that's me done i'm out have a virtual high five